Hey Church, my name is Adam. I'm on the production team here at Manchester Central Campus of Audacious. Um, I've been delivering the devotions, so you probably have seen me this week um, as we have been looking at relationship over rules. Um, it's the last day of this devotion series, um, so I'm really happy uh, to have been delivering it. I hope you have managed to find something from it. And if you haven't, then maybe today's the day that you do, so you never know. Uh, let's look at the Gospel according to Mark again, chapter 17, verse uh, chapter 10, verses 17 to 22. We've been looking at it this week. Uh, as Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You should not murder. You should not steal. You know, you should not commit adultery. You should not give false testimony. You should not defraud and honour your father and mother. A teacher, he declared, all of these things I've been doing since I was a boy. And then Jesus looked to him and loved him. But one thing you lack, my son, he said, go and sell everything you have and give it to the poor and then you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me, he said. And at this time, the man's, fell, the man's face fell. Okay, He went away because he had great wealth. And imagine with everything that you have, if someone was to say, I want you to go and give it away to the poor, everything that you had worked hard for. You know, everything that you'd work hard, you know, you work hard. You have your home, you have uh, your, uh, your personal items. Maybe you've got a car. And you were asked, well, I'm going to say this, you know, someone called Jesus is saying, I want to give it away just for eternal life. You know, as we finish our wicked devotions, I want you to take a moment to know that you can have a consumed heart, you can have a clean heart, and you can have a captured heart. Because know that your heart is your responsibility. Guard it, set borders, set those boundaries, tend your heart, t- tend it like a gardener. Now, the gospel according to Luke Chapter 6, verses 45 says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. We have to make sure that in our hearts, bad things don't grow, so tend to your hearts. Take everything out, like a garden, take out all the bad soil. Okay, to every, Take everything out, because the devil wants to grow what you are storing. Okay. But Jesus wants to be able to help you to clean your heart, to have that consumed heart, to have that captured heart. Uh, So guard your heart and tend it. Keep it consumed, keep it clean, keep it captured. Um, Because what Jesus wants to to do, the devil uh, wants to take away. Uh, I hope this devotion series has helped you. um, And uh, I look forward to uh, maybe doing this again in the future. Um, But let's just end in prayer. Um, Father God, we just thank you um, for whoever's watching on the other side of the screen, Lord. I just pray for their day, Lord. I pray that they have a successful day. I pray that they have um, that uh, that captured, that consumed and that clean heart that we've been talking about this last week, Lord. Uh, I pray um, for the weekend, Lord, and I pray that they're able to get through uh, today as they gear up for a weekend, hopefully of rest, Lord Jesus. Uh, and I pray for their, uh, their soul that they have that clean, that captured and that consumed heart, Lord Jesus, in your name. Amen. Thanks so much, church. Have a blessed week and God bless you all. Thank you.